Hi there, and welcome to the Smart Human video blog. Today we're going to discuss how to make our drinking water even safer. Every night on the evening news, we hear of yet another story of drinking water contamination somewhere in the U.S. or around the world. But did you know that in the U.S. under the 1974 Safe Drinking Water Act, only 91 contaminants are actively tested and regulated at municipal water treatment plants? That's right, only 91. And private wells, which serve over 40 million Americans, have no requirements by law to be tested for contaminants unless the property is sold. So which contaminants can actually get into our drinking water? Contaminants that you may not be able to see, smell, or taste. Fertilizers and pesticides, industrial chemicals such as solvents and plasticizers, antimicrobial chemicals like triclosan, prescription medications like antidepressants and blood pressure medications, radionucleotides like radon, cleaning and personal care products, chemical flame retardants, and nonstick chemicals. All of these get washed down the drain and end up at wastewater plants to get cleaned for reuse. Metals such as lead and copper from old pipes. Bacteria and viruses can get into the water system, particularly after a severe flood, and chemicals used in fracking. Even disinfectant chemicals that are used to clean the dirty water that goes through the water treatment plants are allowable at low levels. And most of these contaminants I mentioned are not removed from water treatment cleaning process. They take decades to break down and many are associated with a slew of health issues, including hormone changes, learning and developmental issues in children, immune system effects, and cancer. My number one recommendation, no matter if your water comes from an in-ground well or city water from a water treatment plant, is to always filter your water at the point of use, which is your faucet. This allows you to the greatest control of what you and your family drink. Now there are simple carbon filters that are used in pitchers, on a refrigerator door, as well as those you can actually install onto your sink faucet. Then there are more complicated filters, such as reverse osmotic, iron exchange, and distillers. Choosing the right filter for you and your family is very important, and the best source for options is EWG.org, Guide to Buying a Water Filter. And whichever type of filtered drinking water system you choose, remember to change your filters regularly. And what other things can we do to make our drinking water safer? Well, avoiding drinking from plastic water bottles and plastic sports bottles whenever possible because plastic chemicals can leach into the water it's carrying, especially in the heat. And plastic containers that say BPA-free means that the BPA plasticizer was likely replaced with a harmful substitute like BPS or BPF. So stick to glass and stainless steel and fill up at home. Remember, the human body is made up of about 75% water. So why not make that water the cleanest it can be? I share these prevention tips and more on thesmarthuman.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Ailey Cohen. And remember, when it comes to our environment and our health, you too can be the smart human.